So as you can see, I've applied a little bit of movie magic makeup this morning and I'm gonna be venturing out to go find a location to film. I'm nighting up, as they say, or as Barney Stinson should say. Um, so I'll be wearing as much medieval stuff as I can. Point is, I'm gonna be putting on medieval stuff and filming me as a knight or something for uh, some video content on the main channel. It's exciting. I always enjoy playing dress ups. <laughs> no entry. Grand Ridge Plantations. Well, I don't need to enter, but I think a shot something like this in the background could be kind of cool. There's a dog barking. That might make it difficult. And there is a road. Some of the best views of these mountains behind are in people's backyard. And uh, I don't know, I don't think I could justify dressing up in armor and carrying a sword and going in someone's backyard. Ah, uh, bloody dogs. I feel like through there might be something. I'm gonna go have a look. The problem is, these are all people's back fences and I'm gonna be doing like battle shouts and stuff. So I might just look for another five minutes just in case there's something a little further out. But yeah, I, I want a bit of a clearing with a forest behind. That's the look I'm going for. Okay, so here's the thing. This looks perfect, except for the no entry trespassers prosecuted bit. But that valley and the mountains behind would be perfect. So I'm actually considering knocking on a door and asking permission. The problem is, in asking permission, I look like this. A bit of a hobo. <laughs> Nobody's home. I'm gonna have to look in a different area, not so close to people's houses. I'm tempted by this. Now I know there are houses and stuff here, and it is next to a road, but there aren't many cars that go here, and if I have a low angle on the camera, sort of zoomed in like this, and if I'm in the shot, sort of, you know, there, I feel like that could work. So this is my lighting test. Basically I got the shot, focused, and uh, then just walked in, looked left, looked right, just so I could see if everything seemed all right. And that seems like a pretty cool shot to me. So I've got my armor and stuff. Let's whack it on and get some shots done. This stuff is heavy and also pinches. And it's also, I think, the first thing I'm putting on. This is where things get a little bit trickier. Alright. That's not too bad. The last thing is microphone, but I'm not sure where to clip this thing. It needs to not be too visible, but it needs to also pick up sound. Um, I'll figure it out. My brothers, I have stood with you on the eve of battle on more than one occasion. But this is not like the other times. For in the past, our king has sent us to fight. Ow. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Don't do that again. Fuck. Apparently this is how you take shame out. You lift it up here and you lean forward, you lean forward and touch your toes. Hey, it worked! Oh okay, I'm done. Wow, I'm really sweaty. Um, cool, so I'm gonna go return this stuff to Anthony and then I'm gonna go home and have a shower and shave. Uh, I guess I gotta figure out how to get home because I, I drove lots of random places and I actually don't know where I am. I really do look like a hobo. <laughs> I've gotten such irritated skin, so I'm gonna shave now and wash my face and you'll see how red and irritated it is. And when the beard is gone and the makeup is cleaned, there is nothing but rash. <laughs> it's because it was all sweaty and then covered in dust and dirt and stuff, so anyways. All right, I'm gonna wash up and then get to work. <laughs> so I found the part in yesterday's recording where I uh, I hit the ceiling. So this is me blowing up virtual reality balloons and hitting them, you ready? There's one, and then... <laughs> oh my God. Oh no.
<laughs> oh my god. Today's agenda involves recording the voiceover and presenting to camera bit for the virtual reality video and I'll edit those over the next couple of days but I'm just going to do the talking bit and then I'm also going to finish and release the Celestial Mermaid character design I did quite a while back, a couple of weeks back um, and that's going to go out today and then uh, I think after lunch I'll be working on a sponsored video. And I'm rendering, this is the character design session, Celestial Mermaids, Mermen, mer people. <laughs> so that's the thumbnail. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So I think that it's very clickable and cool looking. So anyways, I'm gonna upload that and then I'm gonna do that talk to camera bit I mentioned. I'm gonna wrap up today's video. I did a whole bunch of work, mainly just recorded some content ready to edit while I'm on the road tomorrow. I'm heading off to uh, Sydney, over the next couple of days for a Wacom event, which I'm excited about. Uh, but yeah, jumping into the question of the day, Dazdroid1995 says, how good would Tilt Brush be for concept art or prototyping? Already it's amazing. I can't wait to show you the uh, painting I did uh, yesterday next in next week's video on my main channel. But yeah, it's already amazing, but it is just the beginning. So I think a year from now, the tools and features that will be implemented are going to be more and more cool and useful for that sort of stuff. Uh, and that's what I'll be using it for, like concept art and character games and things like that. But yeah, it's just the beginning for virtual reality and it's already awesome. Anyways, that's, that's it for work for today. I'm tired and I've got to pack up for tomorrow, but then uh, yeah, time to unwind. Thanks for watching, guys. So I just found out Donald Trump is going to be the next US president. I need a drink. So Mrs. Jazza. How do you feel about the results of the U.S. election? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I think it's funny because any time you talk politics, people either get really angry or really just annoyed that you're talking politics. Mm -hmm. So let me be clear on what my stance is personally and how I deal with my content and where I filter my opinions. Draw with Jazza, I don't talk politics. In fact, the only real opinion that I've shared that's uncouth is I hate Apple. And that was for the sake of a joke. But aside from that... That went down badly enough. Yeah, but like, yeah, at the end of the day, so did my sexy spider whore and my elf in bondage videos. If they make me laugh, that's, you know, that's my barometer. So... I'll offend people, that's okay. Yes, I'm a children's television presenter, but I'm first and foremost my YouTube audience's content producer. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the TV show and the book came from that. So I'm not going to change that because uh, the other stuff came around. But Twitter is where I am me, and I say my opinions sometimes that might not be very filtered. And the vlog. And the vlog. And the vlog is our family. And we have opinions too. So if you don't... But we've still filtered them. We to still... be frank, we think it's a disaster. Yeah, we think it's... Oops, that wasn't filtered. We think it's messed I up and stupid. I hope it's not a disaster. We were Bernie. We were like, go Bernie! Oh. Not, not that I think Hillary Clinton's wonderful. I think... They're both terrible. That the rig... The, I do agree... Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm using the same word as Donald Trump. But... That I do think that the American political system is really biased in favour of money, corporations and power. I don't think Donald Trump's going to fix that in any way, shape or no. form. But I certainly think Hillary Clinton seemed to me, from an outsider's perspective, to be part of the status quo. And that is not necessarily a good thing. I, as Jazza mm. said, was pro-Bernie, hoping that he... And someone tweeted me saying that America is built on individualism, not collectivism, because, you know, it's the old collective socialist thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, people no, no, people no. hated the fact that Bernie For used the say, word democratic socialist. Don't work together. Yeah. Fight. Because then you're a commie. Every man for themselves. <laughs> God damn and the commies. smallest, ca most cancer-ridden of children have to fight the hardest if they want to win. We think that it's society's responsibility to look after people who are mm. unfortunate in their circumstances, who are terribly ill. Who... We have health care. Yeah. I mean, sure, we pay a, a little bit for doctors here in Australia. 
we sort of do a copay thing, unfortunately. Um, thanks, Abbott. Um, hey, hey version, it could be worse. Our version of Donald it Trump. It could be Donald Trump. <laughs> but um, Sick burn. But at least he looks better in Speedos than Donald Trump would. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't even want to go there. Look, let's well, keep it. Let's keep it short. I'm sure there will be many opportunities in the next four years to to bitch. But let's just put it this way: if you struggle with hearing our opinions now, then you you can feel free to disagree with them in a polite way. We certainly know that a lot of Americans do. Yeah, that's fine. He got but voted in. You look, if you don't like us talking about it, you don't have to watch the content. You know, like we're, this is this is us doing us. And, and we're inviting you along for, for the journey. And I'm, not, I'm not bagging anyone out for their own opinion. No. Like the opposite of... Fortunately, being. there's a large ocean between us and America at the moment. So if things go terrible, then like we're safe at least for a Jazza little bit. Jazza has like- had a flood of tweets <laughs> and uh, requests. <laughs> I've had people ask to, to be interns to, if we need a <laughs> housemate or a house guest. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not. Currently we would like hiring. to take in every American refugee. <laughs> Just... Every American refugee from Donald Trump. Unfortunately, our house is not big enough. No. And Malcolm, Malcolm Turnbull's just like, don't get on boats because our right wing lead, current right wing leader, has said lifetime ban from Australia if you get on a boat. So don't don't try and sail to us here at Jazz Studios. We we can't harbour you. Sorry. Sorry. Bye. Good luck. Good luck.